Hi there guys, welcome back to the Farron channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine Dynex. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need before you start to mine Dynex is a wallet. Now I will leave the link for you guys down in the description, but all you're going to need to do is go ahead to the link that I provide for you guys and then go ahead and press on create your wallet now. Now you will need to go ahead and throw an email and a password in there and I'll go ahead and show you once I have completed my site. Okay, so once you've gone ahead and created your Dynex wallet and filled in your password and your email address, you should be uh, greeted with a page or the overview page for the Dynex wallet. Now, what we're going to need to do is go ahead and copy our wallet address so that we can use this a little bit further on in the video so we can go ahead and mine. But one thing I would like to recommend, guys, is please make sure to mine to a Dynex wallet and not straight to an exchange. And then go ahead, guys, and make sure that you set up a two-fender verification so that you don't have any issues with losing your wallet or having any crypto stolen all right so we need to go ahead and grab ourselves the dynex solve version 2.23 and because we're going to be doing this on windows let's go ahead and scroll down to the releases and let's go ahead and press on the windows 2.23 7 zip version that's right there so let's just go ahead and get this downloaded okay so now we're going ahead and download let's go ahead and open this up so as you can see there, it's already in a folder. So just go ahead and drag this folder and just drop it straight onto your desktop. And to replace the files of the same name. So let's go ahead and do the exact same thing. And let's go ahead and open this up. Now, as you can see in here, there is a few folders in here. And as you can see that there is a DNX bat file set up there that I created on the uh, basically last month. And if you go ahead and download yourself you will not have any extra files that will be in there you will have to go ahead and create yourself a batch file so that you can go ahead and start mining for yourself so what we're going to do is let's take ourselves over to minor pool stats okay now what we're going to need to do is go ahead and pick a pool of our choice i'd recommend either pinging these or going ahead and seeing which is closest to yourself but for myself for this instance sake i'm going to go ahead and pick on neuropool Net. So if we take ourselves over to neuropool.net, as you can see, we can go ahead and configure ourselves for the windows. So if we go ahead and copy this here, let's go down here and create a new text document. Let's just call this Dynex. I mean, that's a little bit of a funny version, but that'll be fine. Paste that into there take ourselves back over to our wallet and grab our wallet address okay so once you've got your wallet address just go ahead and paste this into your wallet section there for your minor address so just paste this into there as is and then if we take ourselves back over to the pool what we're going to need to do is go ahead and make sure that everything is in there is typed in there correctly so for the password go ahead and name this whatever you'd like for your own system so i'm going to go ahead and just call the 3090 because that's what i'm going to be testing this on today uh, i will be going ahead and doing a 24 hour results for you guys so you'll be able to see exactly how much that i've been making uh, within a 24 hour period and whether it's profitable or worthwhile for yourself i have seen some of the bigger crypto youtubers uh, going ahead and recommending uh, dynex at the moment i have as you've seen uh, set my up to mine on Dynex prior in the past so I'm very very interested to see what would happen um, you know within this instance uh, and to see whether you know there's something that could be made you know from it so let's go ahead and save this okay so let's go ahead and press file and go ahead and press save as now call this whatever you like but you've got to make sure that in lowercase it says dot bat at the end of the file so now that you've done that Let's go ahead and let me just close off my original minor bat at the moment. And let's go ahead and open the bat file that we just created. So, as you can see, it's right there. If we double click this, as long as everything's set up correctly, we should be successfully now mining to Dynex. And what I will do, guys, is I will go ahead and I will leave uh, my whole bat file for you guys down in the description. I would recommend, like I say, going ahead and change in the wallet address. Like I say, you don't want to go ahead and mine to my address, but you're more than welcome to donate if you feel free to. Um, but I wouldn't recommend, um, you know, some of the other videos that I've seen out there for it. As when I did try to um, set myself up from one of the other YouTubers, I, was, I wasn't able to actually start mine. It was, it was showing me some errors. I think 
they did go ahead and make themselves an updated video, which is great. Uh, but I just what I thought I would do myself is just go ahead and just show a, show you guys exactly how you do it and how you do it correctly, so that you don't have to start up with any issues, any problems, or anything like that. All you need to do really is just go ahead and copy um, what I've left for you left for you guys down in the description, and then just go ahead and change your own wallet address and then change your own password to the name of your own rig. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a few moments to set itself up and then I'm going to come back and show you guys exactly what it's looking like on the pool once it's all set up. Right, so once you've given your Dynex Miner a bit of chance to send some shares through to the pool, go ahead and press on the work statistics. Go ahead and fill in your own wallet address and then press look up. And as long as you have sent a free, uh, th through a few accepted shares, uh, then you should have no issue in seeing what's going on and your hash rate and the details of exactly how much you're going to be paid. So, as I said before, guys, I will go ahead and show you guys my 24 hour mining results on this once uh, 24 hours has passed. Uh, also, just to make sure as well that you guys are aware that this can be quite a CPU intensive uh, mining cryptocurrency. So, even though you are mining with your GPU, it does use a little bit of resources uh, from your CPU you can actually go ahead and see this if you check out your task manager so if we go and press task manager we go to the um, the CPU if we go up to here we can actually see that the Dynex is using around about I've seen it up to around about like 15 to 16 percent and then also as well if you're mining uh, you know any other cryptocurrencies whilst you're trying to do that you're going to receive uh, quite a large amount of rejected shares when you do that so please make sure that you do take that into consideration so when I received the two negative shares there I was mining uh, on my CPU doing a little bit of wrapped mining and as you can see that also you know inflicted basically in the fact and showing that i would i received you know two negative shares now on my 3090 i'm receiving around about 182 hashes at the moment i have gone ahead and checked on hash rate dot um no just to see um you know what kind of hash rates i should be getting and you know what kind of stats i should set myself up for as far as the overclocks um but what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to show you exactly what i've set mine to and then for yourself guys if you feel like um you know you think my hash rate settings or my overclock settings are wrong please go ahead and let me know what you think i should change it on but these are what i've got it set to at this specific moment in time now right guys so make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell i'm making sure that i'll be doing a 24 hour update video on this so that you guys can see exactly how much i earn and find out for yourself if this is profitable and whether you should go ahead and move your rigs onto dynex and give it something you know worth a shot or whether it's worth trying thank you very much